Now this morning, Mayor Vula said that a failing battery played a role in the crisis. So our Melissa Hiplet spoke to an engineer about how the city's water system operates. She shares now what he had to say. Melissa? Yeah, Bill, we talked to a licensed engineer in Minnesota who said he was shocked to read about the water crisis here in Richmond, calling it very out of the ordinary. As many Richmonders prepared to return to work and school on Monday, Dominion Energy received word at 6.50 a.m. that Richmond's water treatment plant had lost power. According to the interim spokesperson for the mayor, Julian Walker, when that outage occurred, a backup power system comprised of batteries took over to keep the plant running. But Mayor Danny Avula said at a press conference Wednesday morning that one of those battery backups, the one that runs the IT system called SCADA that operates the entire plant quickly lost power. Uh, the battery backup lasted about an hour uh, and so the IT system went down. When a backup battery stops working, Walker said there are gas powered generators in place that can kick in and provide power. But Walker said those have to be manually activated. And while he did say they were turned on, he stopped answering my questions when I asked how much time passed between the battery dying and a person activating the generator. Joel Paulson, a licensed professional engineer with 20 years of experience designing water systems for municipalities, says he's never seen a system that relies on backup batteries before generators. Typically, we would use a backup generator, either you know diesel or gasoline, and those can run indefinitely as long as they're you know continued to be refueled, and that that's usually you know industry standard the approach that you would take one hour would not be sufficient enough time to uh, provide backup power for a critical system like a potable water system. Mayor Avula said yesterday that in addition to that battery harming the IT system there was a failure in a redundant system that caused the plant to flood that morning which damaged equipment. It seems odd that the water treatment plant would would be flooded itself. I mean, there's a lot of relief valves and overflows that should have been, uh, you know, designed into the system. How could a power outage that only lasted a couple of hours cause catastrophic failure in a water system in a capital city? You know, the only thing I can think that would completely out a water system would be, you know, either contamination at the, the source of the water or critical failure of the water treatment plant itself. You know, those two components would certainly take out a water system for an extended period of time, but neither of those seem to be directly related to a, a power outage because the water treatment plant should have of redundant um, backup power. Now, Polson also added that it should not be taking this long to get the water back for the majority of the city. He said the only other water catastrophe catastrophe of this magnitude he could think of in recent years is the Flint, Michigan water crisis, which involved lead in their water. I'm Melissa Hippolyte for CBS 6.